This pant always going to be fab. I can't wait. I can. Looks like she's got problems. Oh, she'll be okay. You all right? It wasn't until I saw you. What are you going to do? I don't believe it. I only just had it fixed. I'd better go. Oh, having trouble? What does it look like? I don't suppose you could help me push it over to Lisa's, could you? No, I don't suppose I could. <laughs> Expensive suit and all that. Why don't you give Zach Dingle a ring? He deals in scrap. You want me to rake the leaves up? Are you serious? Yes. Look, if you're going to pay me, you may as well pay me for doing something useful. Oh, hello, you two. Chris, I'm serious. I'm sick of being treated like a dog's body. You are a dog's body. My dog's body. Now, that is a great outfit. What you need is a rocket. He's got one. Go on, Darth. Show him your stuff. Look, Chris, I know you want to spend more time with Joseph, but have a look at the place. Stella didn't out with it. There's serious money here, if we think about it. There's the stables, the chute. You could set one of them up. Could I? Yeah, well, I'm just saying I want to be useful. Then rake up the leaves. They're spoiling my view. Is that what you want? What I want? You wouldn't even begin to know what I want, so don't tell me what I can and can't do. I know already. I was just trying to be helpful. Then fetch a rake. Make the place look pretty for Zoe. Well, I, I just happened to be passing the churchyard. And? Well, I couldn't help but notice the state of your holly trees. Oh, morning, Ashley. Morning. They're telling you, Aladdin is the answer to your prayers. No, he isn't. My Gavin is. Uh, we do a theme night, right? And I'm the genie, see? And I tell everyone, their wish is my command. The only magic I want worked is at my wedding. Now, I'm sorry, Marlon, this left to wait. I have a floral centrepiece once sorted. No, but you just... Uh, Oh, Won't take long, this. I bet Belle's looking forward to Christmas. No. Decorating the tree. All you lot making a fuss of her. Yeah. Quite jealous. No, oh, I won't be. All she's getting's a few building bricks. Real ones, like. Well, they don't know the difference at that age, do they? <laughs> no, I, no, I meant I envy you your family. Christmas Day can be quite difficult sometimes. Well, Christmas is... Well, you know, cut fine all day for you lot. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. It's just, I stand in that pool pit and I see everybody, uh, all the families and the kids, and they look so happy, so complete. And they go home to their presents and the turkey, and those awful jokes in Christmas crackers. <laughs> <laughs> and me, the most important day the day Christ was born, and I envy them their jokes. Hey, your sermons aren't that bad. Quite amusing, some of them. How many of my sermons have you heard? Well, it was uh, mine and Lisa's wedding. All that stuff about Adam and Eve. Quite racist, if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> Shame about the ending, though. If there's one thing I do know, happy endings aren't guaranteed. Yeah, but your happy ending. Pearly gates, quick turn from St. Peter. I think sometimes paradise and earth would be enough for me. Hey, well, you'll have your very own Garden of Eden. As soon as I finish this lot. <laughs> but no Eve. I don't know what's got into Kelly and all this. Well, it's Christmas coming up, isn't it? Exactly, time of good cheer and all that. Oh, well, it's not exactly happy time for her, is it? I mean, what we last year, Vic? She won't have many happy memories. Uh, I suppose you're right. Tell you what, if it did help, get her out at the post office. Why don't you bring her round to our place, spend Christmas Day with us, more the merrier? Oh, I don't know. Well, to be honest, you'd be doing me a favour. I reckon our Emily's missing her dad. Help take her mind off it too. Mm. I'll have a chat with Cal, maybe we'll pop in. Hmm. So, what's the verdict? Guilty. It's going nowhere. Oh, you're joking. You only fixed it a couple of weeks ago. What's the problem now? I don't know. Uh, I haven't had time to have a look at it. We're snowed under. Well, you will look at it, won't you? 
I'm sorry, Sarah, but we've got that much on at the moment. I don't think I'll get round to it, not until after Christmas. Oh, great. That's all I need. Some Christmas this is going to be. You may as well take it. I've no use for it. Oh, cheers. <laughs> you know, when my Nelly went, I thought it would end for me. Felt like my whole world was falling apart. But then I met Lisa. Of course, first thing she did was run off my brother. It's enough to put any man off that. I got her back in the end, though. And now look at me. I've got her, and I've got a beautiful new baby daughter. <laughs> you told me that a few years ago, I wouldn't have believed it. Anything's possible. That's what makes life worth living, isn't it? Hey? Hope. Yes, it is. Thank you, Zach. No, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> no, uh, well, that'll be a tenner. Did Lisa say how much it was going to cost? No, nope, she didn't. She can't even look at it till after Christmas. I've got a feeling it's going to be quite a big job. That's all we need. Well, we'll have to tell the kids no computer games this year. We'll just have to make do on what we can afford. Yeah. Anyway, I best get back to work. Is there anything else you want us to do, Jack? Yeah, you can give us a hand with these. Jack! What the heck's he doing here? Uh, he's bringing up some machinery I bought. Sorry. I should have warned you. Oh, Trisha, you made me jump. <laughs> I was hoping for a word. Oh, come in, Ashley. Take a pew. I'll just clear this lot away. Oh, you caught me wrapping Christmas presents. Really? Well, oh. I promise not to look. Oh, no, they're not for you, no. Now, what do you reckon? It was a little bit expensive. I'm jealous. It's very nice. So, what did you want to see me about? It's about pantomime. Uh, only I've been thinking. Me too. And I reckon we should go and have a deco at the rehearsals. My thoughts exactly. Well, there you go. Great minds think alike. Now, only we did promise that we'd leave them to it, so we better not let them catch us at it. How exciting. I love a bit of subterfuge. Really? I don't know what they're being so cagey about. I mean, what harm can a bunch of kids get up to? Thanks for bringing it all over. It's all in working order. I wouldn't have sold if I didn't have to. Anyway, I'd best be off. Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley, I want to talk to you. It's about Emily. I've not to say to you. Please. Please, hear me out. For her sake. Look. You want me fighting? It's doing now, except upsetting her. You know it is. Emily made a choice. No. You made a choose. She didn't want to. Christmas is a time for forgiving. You know what the Bible says? What would you know about the Bible? Don't you quote scripture at me? I'm not preaching at you, Mr Wiley. I'm just trying to do what's best for Emily. Look, I look at her every day, and I realise that... that I'm the luckiest man alive. And I'll do anything... anything... to make her happy. A lad like me... I can't do much. I'm not good with fancy words and that. I'm like you. Maybe that's our problem. We feel the sum it up with saying how you really feel. Look, I know what it's like loving someone and not telling them. The longer you leave it, it gets harder and harder to say until you can't say it. And then what happens? Eh? You end up on your own, alone. Cos they think you're not bothered. Of course I'm bothered. I love my daughter. Then tell her! Look, I want... You and me to start again. I want you to come up to our house for Christmas. I want you to spend Christmas Day with me and Emily. Oh, 
I've told you I can't. But what do I have to say? Do you want me to beg? Because I'll go down on my knees, I will. I'll do it for her sake. I just can't. If Emily wants to see me, she should ask me herself. I'm sorry, lad. I clean forgot he was coming. I would have warned you. It's all right, Jack. It won't have made any difference. I said I'd come and see Emily on Christmas Day. What do you say? What do you think? Oh, my Aladdin's old man. You bet he is. Before my Aladdin arrived, I had a long felt one. Not as long a felt as this. <laughs> no, you've got to do it like this. And that's when I showed him my optics. <laughs> should have known. And that's when I showed him my you can't allow this. It's filthy. My mum was she was she dressed as a vicar? Oh yeah. No, 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 no. That's it. I've heard enough. What are you doing here? Ah, oh, Zach. I thought I was the capitalist pig you weren't going to talk to again. Look, Al, about that little discussion, I've changed my mind. I'll do it for a tenner. A tenner? A tenner for what? I thought Zach could trim some of the trees. You have your mind. You hop it. I'm not having him hanging around here. It won't take any time. Well, you're right. It won't take any time because he's not doing it. The trees are terribly overgrown, Chris. I'm not handing money out to any idiot who shows up here. You aren't handing out money, Zoe is. Now, you watch what you're saying. You don't own this place. And neither do you. Now, Zoe employs me to be the manager here, and that's exactly what I intend doing. Really? Well, get on with it. Can't you take a joke? It's not funny. I thought it was. You keep out of this. I don't believe this. I trusted you. People are going to turn up. What am I going to say to them? You've excelled yourself this time, young lady. We can always change it. No way! I am sick of being patronised by someone with the shirt on back to front. Either you change this... Oh, get alive! That's it! You can all go home. The pantomime is off. I pay you to stay until 5.30. I've finished me work. What's the point of hanging around? The point is I might need you. Oh, come on, Chris. What's got into you? You can trim the holly trees. What? But you've just I've said... I've changed my mind. You can't do that. You watch me. Now, you'll find some tools in the stables. Alan will give you the key. Well, you better get on with it. It's a bit unfair. I'm sorry. Terry's hardly had a break all day. Excuse me, who are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, the nanny. What's up with Terry? I was only saying... Well, don't! I pay you to look after Joseph, not to tell me what to do. No, you're right. And where do you think you're going? You've been behaving like a pig all day. No wonder Joseph's terrified of you. The way you treat people. Why would any child want to be near you? <sighs> oh, don't look at me. She's right. You are behaving like a pig. But we've worked ages on this. If you want to blame somebody, talk to Ollie. That's a bunch, Ollie. Yeah, a nice one. What's going on? Censorship, that's what. He's banned the panto. Fascist. Ollie? There was a young lady from Horton who... It was supposed to be a joke. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised, Ashley Bandit. You should know better. And so should you. It was her idea. Thanks. Get in the car now. I'll talk to you both later. I said now, Ollie. I'm really sorry, Ashley. I didn't know. Obviously. Ollie's behaviour recently is out of control. When I came round to see you the other night, uh, well, I know it must be difficult with you both working and not getting along. Hold on a minute. This is about Ollie, not my marriage. Yes, but if you and Sean are going through a difficult patch, maybe... How would you know? In future, I'd be grateful if you kept your opinions to yourself. So you're not doing a turn for the panto then, Al? No, I haven't got time for panto. I'm far too busy. Hey, you could be, um... An... <laughs> Widow Twanky. <laughs> the Christmas show's off, so you can stop your arguing. I think I need a drink. What's all this about Christmas show being off? My master's been practising piano all week. 
Is it the old Christmas show that's off or just the cute panto? Just the panto. But the panto is practically the old show. I know. I have no choice. And please don't ask me what I'm going to do. I haven't got a clue. Well, people are going to be very disappointed. There are other acts, Betty. Like what? Well, Victoria Sugden singing away in a manger. Oh, I'm sure you'll think of an alternative, Ashley. You can finish your homework, then it's straight to bed. I'm serious, this is the last time. Last time what? Have you seen this? Oh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? You knew about this? Yeah. So? You know what I'm saying? She should do more English. I don't believe this. <sighs> I give up. Look, like I said, it's got nothing to do with me. You stay where you are, young lady. I thought it was funny. You think it's funny? Ashley's banned the panto because of this. He practically said it was our fault for neglecting the kids. He's always sticking his nose in where it's not wanted. Stuffed shirt like him. Who cares what he thinks? I do. More fool you. How am I meant to control them when you let them get away with murder? It's not my fault. It's just a stupid joke. You're not supposed to get a divorce over it. This is important. You can't carry on like this, young lady. We don't care. It's just an excuse for another row. Mascara like tomato ketchup is... oh, Sorry. No, don't go. I just wanted to say... Look, I'll go. You don't have to bother sacking me. I don't want to sack you. I want to say... sorry. You were right... about Joseph, the way I've been behaving. It's just, when even my own son goes off me, it doesn't do too much for your confidence. You were right, and I'm sorry. Do you want a drink? OK. And you're not a pig. Not all the time, anyway. So am I forgiven? Yeah. Do you want a word of advice? When Joseph runs away from you, half the time it's because he's tired or he wants a drink or he wants to stuff soldiers in the video. It's not always about you. You have to lighten up a bit. Not everybody's against you. Laugh. Laugh and the world laughs with you. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. How do you keep in shape? Only a body like that would take some working on. Patricia's specialist subject, men and their muscles. Yeah, well, it might be my specialist subject, but I've had to pass on a few. Oh, Trish, I thought you loved me. <laughs> You're not your type, then? Gavin? Oh, no way. It's like pulling a Christmas cracker with him. All you get is some pretty packaging and a load of old jokes. <laughs> I prefer something with a bit more substance, me. <laughs> Look, what my kids do is my business. All I said to Angie was that if there are any problems at all... Well, home... there aren't. End of story. Look, if I were you, I'd stop poking my nose in where it's not wanted. All right. I wonder. What? Well, I've got to do something about the Christmas night, otherwise I'll have a hall full of people watching Victoria Sugton sing. It's hardly the Von Trapp family, is it? Maybe calling off the pantomime was a mistake. Oh, you've done the right thing, Ashley. Better to call something off now than regret it later. I really think so. Yes. So you asked him up for Christmas? Yeah, I thought he might do some good, but it didn't. He said no. Ah, oh, well, at least you tried. Hey, not a word to our Emily, though, eh? He'll only upset her. Mm. Hey. Look at this! Yeah, good to see you, Bachelor. Oh, well, you cannot leave that there. Our bell might eat berries. Yeah, it'll taste better than what she usually gets around here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's not for us. I'm going to flog it. Oh, do you, Gardens? <laughs> I think it looks lovely. Don't it make you feel Christmassy just looking at it? I remember me dad, he once got all Lord and Mistletoe. Trouble was, they went out to kiss but me and the sheep. Yeah. I've always loved Christmas. Dad? 
And you're only mistletoe in this lot. Let's keep open. Look, Emily, I'm going to make this the best Christmas that you've ever had. Because that's what Christmas is all about, you see. Being with the person you love. Come on, you lot. Have you not got beds to get to? Oh, I don't suppose you want company. I've already got some, thank you. Good night. Night. Ashley, I didn't see you there. Are you all right? Maybe he was right. Who? Sean, he thinks I should stop interfering in other people's lives. Oh, don't be so silly. That's what you're there for. That's it, is it? All I'm good for, sticking my nose in, telling people what they can't do. Of course not. You made a real difference to this village. I mean, look at the, um... The Christmas show? Exactly. Oh, you'll think of something else for the Christmas show. It's not just that. It's... Oh, it's everything. I get so tired of it, being this moral judge. People expect me to know the answer all the time, the right thing to do, but sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Ashley, I don't expect you to be infallible, just to be you. Look, if there was anyone I'd turn to, anybody in this world, it'd be you. You know how much you mean to me. You mean a great deal to me, too. Good. Because you're very important to me. You're one of the best people I know. No, I'm not. I'm a coward. If I wasn't, I'd be honest. I wouldn't sit on the fence all the time. I'd let people know what I think. What I really feel about them. Bernice. Come on. Let's get this lot sorted and we can go to bed. I'll be with you in a minute. I'd better be going. Ashley, just remember, I'm always here for you if, if you need a friend. Good night. Good night, Louise. Ashley. Sweet dreams. <laughs>